So this you that is you, do you get this sense that as you are born here and you have exposure to experience and you give birth to rockets of desires that the larger part of you expands because of what you've lived and then stands there with law of attraction responding to it calling you toward it and when you move in the direction of that calling you feel so good that's that impulse that's that inspiration that's feeling of oh I want to do that that's that life giving life calling me being who I am that's me in my human form keeping up with who I have become that's the way you intended to live life when you feel negative emotion whether you call it frustration or overwhelmment or something stronger like anger or rage or hate or something stronger like disappointment or fear or depression when you feel those negative emotions what it always means is you're not letting yourself be you you're focused upon some aspect of contrast and you've done it for way more than 17 seconds so that you've got an activation within you that is not letting you go with the flow and what happens is the thing about not going with the flow is that the flow doesn't say oh they're not coming let's wait <laughs> the flow keeps going because law of attraction is responding to the larger part of you Jerry and Esther went white water rafting and the the man who was guiding their boat said friends this is not Disneyland we cannot turn this river off in other words we want to say the same thing to you this is not Disneyland this river cannot be turned off you cannot turn off the result of all of the desire that you've lived in all of this time this is source energy summoning you you must let yourself be who you are and if you don't let yourself be who you are you don't feel good and it's not about somebody else saying you should be something you need to be something it's about life having called it through you and you not going and when you don't go it doesn't feel good and when you do go it feels also oh good and do you know you don't even have to go and receive the full manifestation of it you just have to no longer not go we see you you take your boats down to the river you've got your paddles in them you put the boat in the water and almost without exception human dear hearts that you are you turn your boat upstream and begin paddling very hard and we say why not turn and go with the flow and you say oh that just seems lazy we say well you could use a different word like natural no I choose lazy it seems lazy I don't want to be lazy I want to be virtuous and hard-working I want to earn my way and all the other humans that amount to anything are paddling very hard upstream we try here we try hard we try we persevere we are determined we use our effort and our action to try to compensate for energy you don't say that but you try it you do it and we say nothing that you want is upstream why are you paddling upstream well I don't know others have done it I heard that you're supposed to try hard and I heard that there's no gain without pain and I heard that the more you suffer the greater your rewards are later and we say how can that be how can something that feels so bad lead to something that is good how can that be where do you get this stuff when there is not a shred of evidence to the contrary of law of attraction there's not a shred of evidence to the contrary of well-being have you looked around your planet have you driven around it have you flown over it have you looked at your planet do you see the enormous well-being in comparison with the pocket here and there of not well-being do you understand that you are thriving that you are thriving more today than you ever have and you will thrive more tomorrow do you understand that well-being is the order of this universe because the pieces that are carried on by the energy spirit that is you are the best parts of it not the worst parts of it do you know that when you croak we love that disrespectful word do you know that when you croak you leave behind all doubt and fear and worry and you reemerge into the fullness of who you are and it is from that fresh place of knowing that you come again into this physical experience you are pure positive energy beings from the source energy part of you so
The reason that we're here talking with you is because you come asking us, you want to know how this all fits together. You want to know who you are. You want to know how to fulfill your reason for being here. And we want you to know that the way you fulfill your reason for being here is by quantifying your journey, by finally acknowledging that you have within you guidance that lets you know when you are coming into vibrational alignment with who you are or not. And as you let your quest be every day to care about the way you feel and you begin to train yourself into better and better and better feeling thoughts little by little you come into vibrational alignment with who you are constantly becoming and in coming into that vibrational alignment with who you really are you then begin to lead the joyous life that you intended when you came forth not one of you came forth to fix this planet it is not broken not one of you said I'll go forth and I'll look at all the ideas that exist and I'll whittle them down to just the good ideas and we'll throw all the others out not one of you said anything like that because you understood that the diversity is the strength and the basis of all expansion so here we are together you are magnificent creators and our value to you is in assisting you in recognizing how to utilize your guidance system so that you can finally quantify your journey your journey from sickness to wellness your journey from wellness to even more wellness your journey from financial well-being to more financial well-being your journey from not enough money to enough money to enough money to plenty of money to anything that you want we are not here to guide you in your choice of desires you get to choose all of that and your life experience helps you to do that we just want you to quantify your journey by understanding your emotions when you travel from Phoenix to San Diego you know how to get there your maps point you in the direction you have compasses you know by the Sun in the sky which way is west you can tell how far it is by looking at your map and you don't feel fear about getting there you believe that you can do it you understand that journey but when you are sick and you want to be well often you don't understand that journey and we want you to understand that every journey is first and foremost a vibrational journey if you will make your journeys be emotional journeys a woman said I have arthritis in my hips and I am in constant pain I don't see how I can think positive thoughts when I hurt so much and we said well what is is what is and if your body is hurting your body is hurting and it's not gonna stop hurting immediately but you have a choice you can be in a body that hurts and feel hopeful or you can be in a body that hurts and feel fearful and the vibrational difference between the emotion of hope and fear is the difference between recovery or not as doctors and scientists are looking for cures they keep coming up with another cure you apply it and then you keep coming up with another disease because you are not dealing with the resistance that causes the diseases you are creating endless diseases out of your resistance to wellness you see and until you discover the the solution to vibrational discord until you get to the vibrational heart of the discord there will not be enough cures looking for cures is not the answer looking for vibrational discord is you see so your emotions oh your blessed emotions let you know in every moment what you're doing vibrationally and how does it work it works because there are two vibrational points of relativity that are feeling off one another there's the vibration of who you have become and there's the vibration of who you're letting yourself be and those two vibrations have a feeling effect on you now do you understand why because law of attraction is responding to this part of you and law of attraction is responding to this part of you so when your vibrations are in the same place and law of attraction is responding you don't feel pulled apart you feel elation vitality but when law of attraction is responding to who you have become to the source energy part of you and you are beating the drum of not enough of something now law of attraction is responding to both parts of you and you have that tug of war going on so negative emotion is split energy positive emotion is aligned energy negative emotion or that tug of war is you beating the drum of something while the larger part of you is seeing it a different way so you're like a two-headed monster and we just want both heads to get moving in the same direction we want you to begin to see your world through the eyes of source through the eyes of who you really are and when you are looking at it 
through eyes different than those eyes you feel the discord of that view for example when you see someone and you love them you're seeing through the eyes of source when you look at someone and you hate them you're not and you feel the discord humans say how could I not hate that behavior and we say we're not asking you to look at something that's awful and feel good about it we're asking you to turn your eyes to something that causes you to align with who you are oh you mean put my head in the sand you mean let that bad thing go on and we say you have a choice you can look at it and cause separation between you and you or you can look at something that doesn't cause separation between you and you but don't I have a duty to look at things that are wrong to try to make them better you can't make something better by looking at something that is wrong following well that's about as clear as we've ever stated it you are the creator of your own reality and you get to choose what you turn your attention to but law of attraction does not make it easy for you to make those changes because as you've been beating the drum of something for a while you have habits of thought that's what you call a belief a belief is just a thought that you keep thinking and we want to say to you that law of attraction is the culprit the blessed consistent culprit that makes it difficult for you to change your thought so there has to be a reason that you'd want to do it and here's what it is you'll feel better <laughs> humans say what else <laughs> well you'll get everything you want oh okay <laughs> but you have to care about how you feel first you have to care enough that you feel better that you're willing to reach for a thought that is a little hard to reach for because law of attraction makes it easy to keep beating that drum where you've been beating it have you ever had something that was really bothering you and you were ragging on and on about it and some fool with you tried to change the subject <laughs> and you kept finding a way to bring it back around and back around and back around and then they try to change the subject finally you just say I'm not enjoying talking to you because you want to talk about this and the reason you want to talk about that is because it's active within you and law of attraction is supplying you with all kinds of thoughts that match it and pulling away from that isn't the easiest thing to do but when you care about feeling good and feeling good matters more then you will reach for the best feeling thought and many people some bright-eyed person over here all optimistic will say you should come over here and think like me and you just want to punch their lights out because not only do you write them not want to go over there and think like them because law of attraction's got this compelling thing going on for you but you can't go over there and think like them you can't because this is what's most active so what you want to do is just reach for something that feels a little better and a little better and a little better and a little better and before you know it you've come back into alignment with who you are and when you do when you come into alignment with who you are the world that surrounds you will change different drivers will drive around you it's really a fascinating thing to see from our aerial view from our energy view you amass vibrationally and you don't even know it you look around humanity do you know you're walking through the streets with all kinds of people with all kinds of different intentions but the rendezvous points are only when something's active within you that matches something that's active within them you create your own reality and when you care about how you feel the best of humanity surrounds you the best of ideas surround you the best of everything surrounds you when you feel good and when you feel less than good less than the best surrounds you and you could put your boat in the water anywhere along this emotional scale and as you put your boat in the water what you are offering and what you've been feeling is what is surrounding you every single time no exceptions no exceptions so once you get a bead on this then you have control of your life experience and until then you're like a cork bobbing on the sea you have no control of your experience the best you can do is just observe and complain you say <laughs> very good